Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Temperatures mild for a early April start with cloudy conditions across our area this morning. Here's a live look from Buffalo Mountain in Johnson City. Notice temperatures out there 53 degrees with calm winds, at least for the moment, in Johnson City, but that will change as we head into the afternoon hours. Notice humidity around 50% dew point at 36 degrees. We do have some dry air out there, so take some precautions if you're doing any outdoor burning today, because with the breezy conditions and that dry air, you could have a quick spreading wildfire danger once again this afternoon. Now we will see some cooler, if not cold conditions, depending on your point of view as we head into the overnight hours. Temperatures dropping to near freezing. Then we warm up a little bit, and then some wet weather returns. I know it's like the positive and negative in your forecast here. We get a little bit of warmer weather, but then we have to deal with a little bit of rain as well. So with the cold weather and then the windy conditions, we'll keep our severe threat tracker in the medium alert level for Saturday and Sunday. Heading into Monday, a little bit of rainfall possible later in the day, but Otherwise, I think we'll be sitting pretty good for the our severe threat tracker. Notice as we don't go through the morning hours here, we do have a little bit of cloud cover across the region. We do have some maybe sprinkles out to the east, and then most of the rain associated across portions of central Virginia and North Carolina with a frontal system stretched across there. But behind that frontal system, very breezy conditions this afternoon as this frontal system up here and the frontal system to our east kind of interact with each other and create what we call our pressure gradient force. When you combine those two together, you get some breezy conditions. So with that, we have a wind advisor issued by the National Weather Service for this afternoon, a high wind warning for Tazewell, Smith, Grayson, Ash, and Watauga counties for the afternoon and overnight hours. Winds this afternoon could gust as high as 45 miles per hour at times, becoming breezier as we head into the evening hours, and then lasting into the overnight. It'll be one of those nights where it just has that sound outside your window as you try to go to sleep, making a few folks feel kind of anxious. But don't worry, the winds probably aren't going to be strong enough to damage most trees. Usually you have to get gusts around 50 to 60 for that to happen. Just some breezy conditions overnight. Winds do decrease as we head into the morning hours of Sunday. The rainfall chances, though, increase a little bit as we head later into today and into the overnight. I think of this afternoon, we'll see mostly sunny skies across the region. But notice as we go later into the day, a few stray showers start to push in so fast that they swung right by me where I was trying to point there. Some stray showers try to move in around maybe 8 to 10 o'clock tonight. Maybe a little bit of a wintry mix possible in the higher elevations, but nothing that will amount to anything in terms of any accumulating snow even in those spots. So our temperatures for this afternoon are generally going to be in the middle 50s. We'll zoom in to portions of the valleys of Tennessee and Virginia, 57 in Abaddon, 58 for the Tri-Cities, and 58 as well in Rogersville. We'll go mid-50s for Mountain City and Elizabethan, 51 in Jefferson, 50 in Boone for this afternoon. A little bit of morning cloud cover with some sunshine later today for Southwest Virginia, 56 in Clintwood, 54 in Norton, and 57 degrees in Harlan, Leslie, and Letcher County, Kentucky. Tonight, temperatures drop down to near the freezing point or a little bit below 29 for Lebanon. How about 31 in the Tri-Cities, 30 in Gate City, and 29 degrees in Jonesville. As we take a look at your forecast for the overnight, stray showers possible early, partly cloudy skies. Otherwise, tomorrow mostly sunny, breezy early. And then we start to increase our temperatures a bit as we head into your next day of the seven-day forecast. 55 for Sunday, a little bit cooler there. But here's that gem of warmer weather on Monday, 65 degrees. Then looking ahead to the next couple days after that, we kind of fluctuate with our temperatures up and down. A few chances for rain. Maybe a few chances for some snowflakes mixing in. Yes, I said the word snow as we head Wednesday or Thursday night into Friday. A little bit of cooler weather combines with that moisture moving in, so I wouldn't be shocked to see a few snowflakes, mainly in the higher elevations. I don't think this will be anything where you know that. It's supposed to be April showers bring May flowers, not snow April showers. Snow showers. It yeah. still has the word showers in it. <laughs> it didn't specify, not quite did the it? the same, though. I know. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ricky. Right. And sports.